In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Minnesota. At number one, we have Minnesota's North Shore Scenic Drive. This picturesque route offers breathtaking views of the state's natural beauty. As you drive along, you'll be treated to a panorama of stunning landscapes from the tranquil waters of Gooseberry Falls State Park to the majestic heights of Ilgen Falls and Caribou Falls. This scenic drive is a feast for the eyes and a balm for the soul. At number two, we find the Minneapolis Institute of Art. This renowned institution houses an impressive collection of artworks from various periods and cultures. Its unique displays, such as the period rooms, offer a glimpse into different eras and artistic styles. A visit to this museum is like taking a journey through the annals of art history. At number three, we have the Mall of America. This is not just a shopping center, but a veritable entertainment hub. With its giant Lego structures, butterfly art installations, and an amusement park, it offers a unique shopping experience that goes beyond retail therapy. It's a place where shopping and fun go hand in hand. At number four, we have Gooseberry Falls State Park. This state park is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. Its biking trails lead you to the Agate Beach and Picnic Flow, and to the trails to the falls, which are some of the best on the North Shore. It's a place where nature's beauty is on full display. At number five, we have Target Field. This sports complex offers a unique experience for baseball fans. With a beautiful backdrop of the Minneapolis skyline, watching a game here is not just about the sport, but also about soaking in the vibrant atmosphere and stunning views. At number six, we have Minnehaha Park. This park is home to impressive waterfalls, and it's an easy stroll down to the shores of the Mississippi River. It's a place where you can enjoy nature's beauty in a serene setting. At number seven, we have the Aerial Lift Bridge. This iconic structure is a sight to behold. Watching the ships come and go from the canal wall right next to the bridge is a unique experience that you won't want to miss. At number eight, we have the Minneapolis Sculpture Garden. This garden is a treasure trove of artistic creations. From the cherry on the spoon to the blue rooster and the love sculptures, it's a place where art and nature come together in a harmonious blend. At number nine, we have the Cathedral of St. Paul. This beautiful cathedral, full of light and beautiful stained glass, is a testament to the city's rich architectural heritage. It's a place of tranquility and spiritual reflection. At number 10, we have the Mill City Museum. This museum offers a unique insight into the city's history. From the cinematic tour of Minneapolis in 19 minutes to the Flower Tower ride and the museum water features display, it's a place where history comes alive. At number 11, we have Canal Park. This area has the aerial lift bridge, the Maritime Museum, and lake walk access as well as a pedestrian bridge. It's a place where you can enjoy a leisurely stroll while taking in the sights. At number 12, we have Glensheen, the historic Congdon Estate. This historic site offers a glimpse into the past. From the mansion tour to the garden, it's a place where history and beauty coexist. At number 13, we have Enger Park and Tower. This park is home to a beautiful Japanese garden and a historic tower that offers breathtaking views. It's a place where you can enjoy nature's beauty and tranquility. At number 14, we have Lake Walk. This historic walking area offers a unique way to explore the city. As you walk or bike along the path, you can enjoy the beautiful views and the vibrant atmosphere. At number 15, we have the North American Bear Center. This museum offers a unique opportunity to learn about these amazing animals. From the behind-the-scenes tour to the up-close views of the bears, it's a place where education and entertainment come together. At number 16, we have the Guthrie Theater. This theater offers a unique cultural experience. With its beautiful views of the Mississippi River and the Old Mill District, it's a place where art and culture come alive. At number 17, we have the Spam Museum and Visitor Center. This museum offers a unique insight into the history of this iconic product. With its interactive stations and a gift shop full of spam merchandise, it's a place where history and fun come together. At number 18, we have Itasca State Park. This state park is home to the headwaters of the Mississippi River. It's a place where you can enjoy nature's beauty and tranquility. At number 19, we have the Minnesota State Fair. This landmark event is a celebration of the state's culture and heritage. It's a place where you can enjoy a variety of activities and experiences. At number 20, we have the Split Rock Lighthouse. This historic lighthouse offers a glimpse into the past. From the guided tour to the adjacent building, 
it's a place where history and beauty coexist. At number 21, we have the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. This museum houses a collection of artworks by many big-name artists. It's a place where you can enjoy a unique cultural experience. At number 22, we have the National Eagle Center. This center offers a unique opportunity to learn about bald eagles and golden eagles. It's a place where education and entertainment come together. At number 23, we have the Lake Superior Maritime Visitor Center. This visitor center offers a unique insight into the maritime history of the area. It's a place where history and education come together. At number 24, we have the Science Museum of Minnesota. This museum offers a unique educational experience. With its Omni Theater, it's a place where science and entertainment come together. At number 25, we have the Chain of Lakes. This natural attraction offers a unique opportunity to enjoy the beauty of nature. From Lake Harriet to Lake of the Isles, it's a place where you can enjoy a leisurely stroll or a refreshing swim. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Minnesota. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.